Quiet down a little bit. I can't hear the game. What? Blah. Maybe turn up the game a little bit. Uh, okay. You are sure your switch is at max? Hmm? Your switch is at max? Yes. Blah. Audio has been adjusted. Better. Okay. All right. Hello, people. It's us, Two Bros Game Nine. I'm your host, Stringer Bro. I'm your other host, Older Bro. And we are back playing. Well, sorry. Uh, sorry. We are back shiny hunting uh, for Gossip Floor. Uh, this is nine, right? Yes. This is nine. So, um, after next week's stream, if we haven't found it, then we're going to have to switch back to Sobble. Yeah. All right. Counter has started. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, uh, some things happened today. Um, I just finished recording a mobile series. It was a pain in the ass. I'm not going to go into further than that. Mm-hmm. Um... So, I also got my new glasses today. Yay, my eyes are still adjusting a little bit, but I, I can see. Yeah, as as is, yeah, as is previously stated, my eyes, uh, or my suggestion is uh, if your eyes have to adjust to the glasses, the glasses are wrong. Although that said, I did actually have to have my eyes adjust to glasses, but that's because I actually changed the entire shape of my glasses and made them, like, twice as big. Me, I kept the same shape. Mine are just a like slightly bigger yeah um and i got it that i got it purposefully because of my issue with uh you know the my uh yeah i can't what was the word the uh blind spot i got yeah. it to better like did they actually find anything i my eyes have slightly changed, but nothing like major. Yeah, they haven't. They haven't said anything about it. So I'm gonna say, even with that slight change, possibly made me get a very bad blind spot on my right side. But again, blind spots are a completely different thing. It's if if it's just a, your eyes have slightly drifted, that's not a blind spot. Blind spots literally mean that if you put something right there, you can't ever see it. Mm. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I, I've, I thought I've always had decent peripheral vision, but yeah. maybe maybe that got worse. I don't know. But that's something they have to specifically test for. So. so um, Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm trying to get happier. Like, we had a hard time doing the mobile series. Um, so, um, so Younger Bro's not in the best mood. Yeah. So, guys, uh, what was actually funny today was after I got my glasses and I was walking outside, mm -hmm. somebody was blasting rose-colored glasses in their car. <laughs> I thought that was funny. His glasses are not rose-colored, by the way, guys. So. But it, it, it was a song that had to do with glasses, and I was... I, I was, heard the word glasses, and therefore I was uh, laughing at it. Yeah, I was, I was cracking up a little bit. Yeah. These rose-colored glasses. I'm gonna have to adjust the audio a little bit. I've been I've been tweaking the uh, I've been tweaking the mic a little bit, guys, to try to uh, make it so that you guys can't hear me on Younger Bro's side as much. But I don't think that's working. Also, Younger Bro's peaking, so I'm gonna turn him down a little bit. Show only the beauty, cause they have the truth. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Looks better, but doesn't sound better. I don't know, man. What do you, what do you mean? I don't know. I don't know I have That's to for you to hear. Stream. Blah, blah, blah. Like this is why I check things. I turn up the volume and turn down the volume blah. and mess with things. All right, it's fine. Yeah, I'm hoping, guys, that this means that some of the uh, minor problems I've been having where Younger Bro's side's picking up me goes away. I did adjust the, um... The, the thing about it is I don't think it's going away fully until we get, like, the boosts that we plan to be in. <laughs> but... No, it'll... Well, here's the thing. It'll never go away. I would... 
the way to get it to go away is to remove the two mics. Yeah, or like I have to play from my room. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's not gonna happen. So yeah, we, we'll figure we something out, guys. Discord. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. And yeah, I, yeah, we already have issues with Discord and mobile yeah. games. I don't want it for the whole channel. No, no, no. I mean, it, it, but that is a possibility that might happen. Like, me and you could not be in the same house anymore. We're living our own lives. Well, yeah, but we'll we'll adjust things as we need to. That's why I would like to tell Father, but he thinks that we're just going to completely give up everything that we love. Look, your, your father is uh, insane. Just like he tried to get me to stop wanting Pokemon cards, but not buying them anymore. Just like that never works. Just like, yeah, it's like that. That's just as that's about as likely as telling him he uh, that uh, he should give up watching sports because those are uh, wasting his time, and then uh, taking away his TV so that he can't watch them anymore. And I'm sure that that would work out extremely well. He was basically saying the things I like don't matter when he. Okay. Well, your sports games don't matter. Going fishing doesn't matter. Fuck off. You know, actually, even better. Your opinions don't matter. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, I, I would not mind, like, helping him around the house or going fishing with him, but he just never asks me. Yeah. And it's this... I know he's told me on one occasion that he just stopped asking me because my answer was always no. Yeah, it's like... But it's like... No, if you ask me, I can plan for it. When you ask me, it's... I can't plan for it. Because he literally asks me... The day of. The day of, yeah. or he asks me when we're about to start streaming. It's like, no. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, because you need to tell me in advance. I need to know several days before. It's not hard. Like, he's like, oh, well, you never want to do it. It's like, no, it's... You want to do it whenever I can't do it. It's very simple. Just say, hey, in a couple days, I'm going to have time off. Want to go fishing? And then you'd be like, sure, let me plan yeah. around that. Yeah, I might actually have Not to... Not fucking hard. I might actually have to ask him to go fishing. Um, now, I, I wouldn't mind that. Like, I have... I have time now, yeah. and I would like to forget the whole me getting fired thing. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to be able to go fishing for another, like, several months, because it's very cold. Yeah, that... And, you know, sometimes ice. Yeah, that that's why I, I haven't so, asked him yet. Yeah, just so, wait. if I don't have a job within the next few months, I'll probably ask him, hey, you want to go fishing? Uh-huh. Oh boy. Yeah. That's why it's like. I don't know. See, this is the thing with me. People people get this idea of like, well, you always say no, so I stopped asking. It's like, no, I never want you to stop asking. Because yeah. I don't always say no. I get m mad at people when they stop asking. Like, I get mad at people. Like, I've, I've gotten mad at family before because they just leave and don't tell me they're leaving. And I expect me to do things without me knowing that they're going somewhere and want me to do something. Like, well, how the fuck am I supposed to know that if you don't tell me? Yeah, and every time I don't tell you, is it's because I've assumed you've been told. Yeah, it's like, I, and I, I get that. It's like, I'm not, I'm not upset with you. But it's, yeah, a lot of times I just am not told by people. And it's just like, well, how the fuck was I supposed to know? Nobody told me. Sometimes, sometimes, uh, Ham and Younger Sis just leave, and I have no idea where they're going. Sometimes all three of you leave, and I have no idea where any of you go. And it's just like, oh, they went to go see this movie. Yeah, cool. We sure would have known about it. Like, Younger Bro often thinks I watched a movie. And it's like, nope, I never watched that, because the, everyone else went and watched it, and I wasn't told about it. Are we still exporting? aren't exporting. Yeah, it looks like we're dropping frames a little bit. That has nothing to do with frames. Frames aren't related to uh, internet connection. No. They 
are only related to internet connection. Exporting has nothing to do with internet connection. Hello, carpet. In hey, fact, carpet. a lot of the frame drops are actually in above our frame count. So it's actually the opposite. We have more frames than it's expected. Oh. So it's, yeah, it's acting really weird. It might actually be a twist. We'll find out today. Um, yeah, guys, so if ever we have internet issues, I uh, just know we are recording um, as well. So we record and stream at the same time. The whole stream, in case you miss anything, will be uploaded if it was really bad to our YouTube in full. Yeah, guys, I just have to remember which one to do on any given day. So, in this case, I just have to remember to export the video and then upload it instead of... Uh, or download the video instead of, and upload it instead of exporting the video. Oh, God. Oh, God, carpet. <laughs> That's going to take forever. Yeah, I went through that. and The only thing I didn't get to keep... Uh huh. Where are my trophies? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, or was it the opposite? I might have kept my trophies, but I don't think I kept my game files. I don't know. One I, way or the other. There, there, there was something I couldn't keep when I was transferring my files, and I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Like, game files aren't necessarily important to me, especially if I've already beaten the game. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Another brilliant gospel floor. That's two, and still not shiny. Nope. And you probably won't get any today. Uh, Just as a guess. But we will do our best. By the way, guys, I'll also let you know, I finally had some time, and I reorganized my Let's Play list, so... Hello, Croc! Hey, Croc. So, um, now we might get some games sooner, and I, I think I've mentioned this, so I just want you to know I'm throwing it out. So, I was trying to space out movie games. I'm, I'm no longer doing it, because there are just... Too many movie games I want to play. So if it is a different series, I do not care if it's a movie game and we do them back to back. If it's not even related, I I don't care. Mm -hmm. Like they can both be DreamWorks and I will still play them back to back. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what I did. I think I tried to save everything. Um, I know I managed to import my not physical games, the digital only games. I know I managed to do that. Yeah. But there was something I was struggling with, and I can't remember what it is. Never heard of that game, Carpet. Monster Crown. Never heard of it. Dude, I came to say hi, but I have to leave. Okay, Croc, that's fine. Yeah, he has to go to church tomorrow. Yeah, gotcha. Have a good evening. <sighs> yeah, sorry if I'm tired, guys. I stayed up too late again for like three days in a row. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Like, I'm probably going to bed after the stream tonight. Like, I, I have to do maybe one or two things, and then I'm ready to go to bed.
Oh, another brilliant gust. Still not shiny. Whatever was going on is finally stopped. Well, <laughs> it's not. It's not currently dropping frames. That's weird. I'll just stop talking. Oh my god. You know, maybe I should just say the stream's going fucking perfectly, and then maybe it, like the universe will just make that fucking happen. Or no, the opposite. Because if I say it, it's there's no problems, then there will be problems. So clearly, I just need to say the, the stream is absolutely terrible, and it's, it's, there's no saving it. And suddenly, the internet will be perfectly fine for the rest of the evening. No, no clue. No shit, no problem. I know that that's the official term for it, but every time I hear, like, oh yeah, I'm breeding my Pokemon, it just sounds so wrong. <laughs> oh my god, a brilliant Zigzagoon after I ran from a Zigzagoon the gown my way. Fuck you, game. I'm happy that one's not shiny. Is making fun of the Pokemon now. I heard a gossip or spawn. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah sorry, I'm yawning a lot, guys. I am tired. <laughs> Younger bro has been very tired today. I'm not like collapsing tired, just. I'm not hurting tired either, just tired. Yeah. I'm just tired. Yeah, I slept for like 10 hours this morning. It was like, I was just completely out. I kind of struggled to go to bed last night, so I probably fell asleep around 2-ish. Mm -hmm. Woke up at like noon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I'm gonna have to, like, the rest is gonna be appreciated because we're gonna have to deal with uh, a lot of crap due to uh, work changes over the next couple weeks. So it's gonna be. Oh boy. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Carpet. Yeah, I hope you have fun and hope that your not Pokemon is uh, enjoyable. start looking for a job the problem is I have so much going on that I haven't been able to yeah younger bro needs to uh, get his shit together I'm trying to get father to look into what is it unemployment mm -hmm. try to get me on that for a little while mm-hmm 
but he just hasn't looked into it yet. Yeah. You told me we have to go to the unemployment office to get it set up. I'm yep. not sure. Yep, that's what I do. But even if I went there myself, I wouldn't know what to do. And I probably wouldn't be able to go to Mon till Monday anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try going to Mon on Monday because Monday's a federal holiday. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's why I'm at work. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ah, sorry, sorry, carpet. Uh, sorry. Uh, what you're looking, you're, what you're seeing is a, uh, uh, is not just a Pokemon clone. It's a Pokemon Harvest Moon clone. Some games you'll play that are not what you expect. Oh my god, yeah, that does really just look like a Pokemon game. If you wanted to pay, play a Pokemon clone, you should have played Tim Tim. No, Tim Tim is multiplayer. I wouldn't oh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend is that. Is it all multiplayer? I mean, basically. Oh. Or is it like Scarlet and Violet? No. It's 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 an MMO. Okay. It was designed to be an MMO because people wanted a Pokemon MMO for a hundred trillion years. I mean, we sort of have that now, but it's no, we really don't. This doesn't count. What people want is they want they want the equivalent of the wild area, but for yeah, the that's whole what I, game. That's what I was saying. Like. Yeah, but I'm saying Scarlet and Violet is still nowhere near that. What but they you can want still is still get four friends. They to do want it with you. yeah. What I'm but saying they is want what people it to be want MMO. is people want a server with twenty thousand people on it and to show every single person at the same time everywhere. That's what they want, and they're never gonna get that. The only issue I see with that is a lot of people may be challenging you to fights. Yep, but that's my point. That, but that's not the point. They could easily work around that by having battles happen in predetermined locations and stuff like that. But that's no, no, that's the point. The point is, Game Freak will never give that. They don't want to do it. I don't know why it's that way in the anime. <laughs> yep. Must <laughs> hold on. The Steam, the Steam review for this is it's Pokemon for grown-ups. Fuck God. off! Fuck you! I really need a table or something to put my phone on instead of my fucking lamp. Are you kidding me? Did that spawn on top of me? No, it spawned inside of you. Are you fuck off? Like I'm busy reading the fucking chat and then yeah, that is the that is the official review for the thing. I've had two Zigzagoon freaking spawn right on me. Like, I'm not in the fucking mood. Then just, just leave the grass while you're looking at Yeah, that's why I just did. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything about farming. So I think that's just in the tutorial. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's stupid. Pokemon's for everybody. I can't, I can't get over that statement. I think that was a brilliant zigzagoon. Sorry guys, I'm I'm s switching over to Cresselia. It's cause of Aurora's snow warning. So we're probably done using um, Aurora's. Looks like all the files have finally stopped go and downloading. So, or not downloading, but like moving between folks. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we've been going for this gossip floor for 22 hours. That's two hours longer than Snob. Several more encounters than Snom as well. <sighs> We're gonna be goss on Gossip Floor for probably the rest of the year at this point. Mm -hmm. very much considering just switching Gossifor over to an egg hunt because of how long this is taking. Well, I mean, next time it's going to be an egg hunt. So. Yeah, I did say, like, after 10 strings I'm yeah. finding and switching them over to egg hunts. Yeah. But this won't be the next egg hunt we do. Like, there's another Pokemon I want more, then maybe I'll come back to Gossifor after I get those. Yeah. So, we'll probably end up doing Sawable, take a break from Gossip Floor, Shiny Hunt, something else. Then, Shiny Hunt, the next Pokemon that I already had planned after Sawable. And then go back to Gossip Floor. I think what screwed us over was getting that shiny stunky. Uh-huh. 
I think that is what screwed us. Oh, I got this other shiny. It's caused me to be unable to get this shiny. Because it's one in 2000 something, so I think every time you get a shiny, like it's going to be the next one in 2000. So no, I'm probably not going to get it till around 4000. work. It's... Like, I'm just not used to these oh, hunts taking this fucking long. It's just random luck, like, man. It's some of them are going to take longer than others. You're well, looking I'm... at it because. You're looking at it because, like, well, it didn't take this long in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and it didn't take this long in Arceus, and it didn't take this long in other games. But it's like, but we've never shiny hunted in a game with this with normal odds on stream before, so of course it's gonna take a long time. The fact of the matter is, I, I like I could do the best odds in every game and just egg hunt, and I don't yeah. want to do that because I hate egg hunt. Yep. And again, as a reminder, part of the reason is the wild Pokemon that are not brilliant do not have boosted odds. Yeah, that's why I'm always so happy to find a brilliant Pokemon. Yeah. Like, but there Stunky is, is no the way. only one yeah. that we found. Yeah. Shiny. It's like that, that uh, Gossifler we just encountered had full odds, and every Gossifler we encounter that is not brilliant has full odds. The only ones that don't have full odds are brilliant Pokemon. So. And those are the, like, 1 in 400 or 1 in whatever it is. So. Yeah, like, I, I always get max combo on the Pokemon I go in Wild Hunt because why not? It's going to take a while anyway. I have been summoned after a long time. Hel Hello, Mr. Ghost, who I believe is Void. Hey, Mr. Ghost. I think Void is the other one. Is the other one? Yeah. I can't remember. I've lost track! Because I think the other one has like a yellowish, greenish, greenish, um, tag. You, you know that the name colors change every time, right? Like, like on, on my phone, yes, it is different than what we see on PC, but once they're... No, I mean, it changes literally every time. Not that For, I've noticed. Yeah, like, carpet's not always pink. Sometimes car carpet's been green. Yeah, and I'm saying it doesn't change every time on my phone. Yeah, I, I think you're just wrong. That's like, I don't... Like, carpet has been green since he got here to me. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. Let me know if I am wrong... And you are void, but I'm... Well, I, I'm saying that you're wrong about the name. Colors not changing on mobile. No, like, I'm serious. They have not changed the entire fucking time. Also, no, that is not void. Okay. Void is Zundamanes. The zoom. I can't even find that one on the list. Well, I followed him, that's why I. Ah, okay. Because I, I specifically that... went back and looked to find. Uh... I specifically followed him because we haven't because heard. You couldn't find him. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, th that's a reasonable reason. My day has been okay. Mine has been tiring and somewhat painful. Yeah, younger brother's been going through some game, uh, like, stress right now. Where he's been struggling in a couple games, so. His temper is, uh, is high and, uh, patience is low. Yeah, plus I haven't got good sleep in the last three days, so that's another reason why yeah. I'm not too happy. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to get as much sleep as I can tonight. Yeah, younger bros uh, in need of a good night's sleep. Oh my 
my god, Tyra, fuck off. But, yeah, guys, I, I really do wish Wild Encounters had, like, a similar amount of rates than, like, Masuda. And that's why Arceus is so good and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are, because their wild rates are just as good as Masuda. Uh, but then again, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you couldn't egg hunt at all. By the way, guys, if you're really insane, don't ever try to combo up to 31 Moltres or Zapdos. Because even though you have the highest combo, it, it the spawn rate for it is still shit. Like, I consider them a worse Shiny Hunt than Kangaskhan. Well, yeah, they're legendaries. Of course they are. Because even with a 31 combo... Um, I know a guy who did this, and he didn't get a single mole trace to spawn within like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So do not ever try it. And the only way to get it, like, quickly, is to catch 31 mole trace in Pokemon Go and transfer them. And you can't break combo. So if they run from you in Pokemon Go Park, that breaks your combo. Yeah. Pokemon, it, when you're transferring them from Go, can run from you in that fucking park. I've had it happen on camera. Mm. Oh, I'm getting a headache for just hearing about this. Well, then again, we were shiny hunting and let's go Pikachu and Eevee wrong anyway. I, again, we, we were just like A Drive. We completely shiny hunted and let's go Pikachu and Eevee wrong. And as we completed um, the decks, we then heard that we were shiny hunting in it wrong. Well, to be fair, it was more to, accurate to state the entire community found out that they were shiny hunting in the game wrong at the time that we finished. I know, I, I just find it hilarious that we were in the same situation as A-Drive. Yup. It's, yeah, it's almost like when everyone's told that that's the correct way to do it, and then somebody uh, checks the code and finds out that they're wrong. Um, God, we probably would have gotten through that game so much faster. Probably not, actually, because we would have had to farm for money so much more. Because the real way to do it is to keep your combo. Like, keep going. You had to catch every Pokemon that you found. That's fair. And we would have ran out of Pokeballs too much, so I would have went with the old method anyway. But also, you probably would have just gotten all the... Uh, you probably would have gotten all the stuff off hand anyway, so... Money farming, I feel like you like would have still been done but i also feel like we would have had to do it on camera as well oh well, maybe well no uh, it doesn't matter anymore well i mean guys we still have to have money but there's a much much better way to get money in this game than there was let's go pikachu and eevee because yeah seriously because what i do is I just participate in a bunch of raids. I have the online I can do so. And then all of the candies I get, I just sell them. And you get like a shit ton of money from it. Like, Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think they can ban that way. Of like getting money quickly. What? I'm saying they would they would have to code the game for you to not sell candies yeah. in order to stop that cuz yeah it's like they're, I, I'm that's just saying intended, that that's an intended mechanic 
And what, what I'm trying to say is people have found ways to get a bunch of money in every game. And sometimes the game developers nerf that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they right. did it in GTA, which I fucking hate it. Because the way you gain money and where you, where you can get all your properties mm -hmm. is to do stock. Yeah. And you and people usually spammed on this one stock, and it would get you money pretty effectively. Yeah. Well, they nerfed it. At least that one specifically. Mm -hmm. So, if you do not... If you don't put all your money in stock at the right time, mm -hmm. you would have to turn off your PS3, turn it back on, and start all over now. Mm -hmm. A brilliant stunky. So... Uh, GTA is going to be a pain for us to do on camera. Well... Actually, not necessarily. Like... It's a pain for me because I have to get everything we had on camera off camera, and it's been a pain. It's the yeah. The only thing I've not done in GTA so far is get all the properties, mm -hmm. and that's the last thing I have to do. Because I think I did all the stunt jumps and such, but I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, it's a pain. Two thousand seven hundred encounters. I should probably look up and make sure that I haven't found any information out about the trying how to mess with this game being wrong. Oh my god. I think Blue finally saw that I messaged him, but he didn't give me his number, he gave me his Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh man. A scythe with a face. That's a bit dark. And that, okay, you know what? That is a bit dark. But yeah, guys, I, I do wish shiny hunting in this game was easier. <laughs> Like, because of this method- YES! YES! I'M SO FUCKING HAPPY! YES! Wow, that shiny actually does look like shit. YES! I like, LOVE IT! Wow, that looks like actual No, shit. I love it. It is good. Wow, I like it. That's, that's so terrible looking. Oh my god. God. Perfect timing. Just anyway. Yeah, because of how we have to- uh, shiny hunt in this game, like, we will have to put it off. Oh, man, we finally got it. I've been wanting it for so freaking long. 2,702 encounters. That is insane. That is the longest shiny hunt on the channel. It beats Nam. I am so happy. Let's get a better look at it. Yeah, I typically like blue shinies. I love this flower. Yeah, I love it. It's evolution is the one that I'm iffy about. Oh yeah, I think someone wanted my shiny Eevee for something. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, that's. Wait, is that my shiny? No, that's the one I have to trade back. Okay. Hundred and twenty-six. This one. 25, 26, yep. Okay. Well, 
Guess we're going after Sobble. Back okay. to it. So it looks like actually the the Shiny Charm does affect non-brilliant Pokemon. But it's not... It cuts it down to like the... It's, it's a... A third. But for brilliant it is still improved. So for shiny charm it is more than we think, or is it It's just not full odds, but it's it's the, the number that it used to be. So the, the shiny charm does actually affect wild Pokemon. Well yeah, that Oh, it does affect wild. Yes. Okay. It good. affects wild, non brilliant Pokemon. Just, it doesn't, it's a static number. And for brilliant Pokemon, it's a non-static number. And it's always lower. Okay. So, like, for example, it's a third, no matter how many you've battled, for non-brilliant Pokemon. But for brilliant Pokemon, it's one quarter. Or less. What's Sobble's evolution? I can't remember. Antelian? No, it's second evolution. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, actually, it does. I'm trying to set up the the next hunt. Look up Sobble and then look up the literal next Pokemon on the list. I can't. I there, it's a search bar on A Drive's app. You I tell literally me it have to have Google a list? it. No, it does have a list, but I would have to. Scroll all the way down, it's very fucking slow. Oh god. Okay, fair enough. Uh, no clue. Okay, drizzle. Whoa, oh, Dreepy Shiny is pretty good. Okay, Drizzle, Shield, uh, Masuda Method, Shiny Charm. Alright, ready to go, I think. What? Oh, I cataloged it instead of started a new. Again, sorry guys, it, it takes a little bit to set this up. Okay, the counter does not start counting until the first egg hatches. But anyway, I am happy we finally got shiny Gossifor. Oh man. But, alright, so, Gossifleur will go another five streams, and if we don't find it, I'm going to switch it up to an egg hunt. Or maybe I should at this point. It's a lot, it is not the longest shiny hunt that we've done on the channel. Uh, I don't know. Right. Anyway, I'm happy we finally got the shiny. I don't think we're gonna get shiny drizzle this episode. There's no way. Oh man. Like, I, even if we did get it, I'm, I'd imagine we don't get it until, like, the end of the stream, and I can't evolve it until next stream. Alright, the counter has started. We are at one.
But yeah, guys, to remind you, the fastest shiny hunt I ever did was 18 seconds. If you want to go check it out, that was our shiny Nicket hunt. We had just started it. First encounter was shiny. Yeah, I think all my luck is going into Pokemon cards. That's that's why I'm not finding many shiny Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, another reminder, Sobble is the hardest egg hunt in the game. So I'm honestly kind of surprised we're even looking for a second one right now. Like, Sobble is the Pokemon I'd expect to go over 2,000 encounters, not a wild gossip floor. That oval charm is gonna be um, a lot helpful now that we, now that we've had it, now that we have it. We'll... Oh my god, I'm struggling to even read what the fuck this thing is. Names. Yeah, were we even at an hour when we found Gossifler? I don't think we were. Hmm? Were we even at an hour when we found that Gossifler? We're not even at an hour yet. So no. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Drizzle shiny or shiny isn't half bad. funny if we found shiny sobble this stream and then we immediately go back to uh, shiny gossip floor oh man okay, I need to I'm, I'm struggling they're, they're giving an example of an overworld grass mm -hmm. so they're like save next to Greepy in the overworld hey oh it with a a male cute charm Pokemon. Because apparently certain Pokemon with certain abilities can cause certain Pokemon to be more likely to spawn. Whatever. They're like, uh, if the next spawn is Dreepy, save and KO it. If it isn't, reload and repeat. This way, the number of the number encountered of Dreepy increases. 
which allow allowing brilliant Pokemon to spawn more frequently. But it's like, why do they need to say reload? I'm not understanding what the reloading. What's the problem if they don't get a Dreepy next? Because they're not making that clear. To me, that sounds like they are comboing a Dreepy, and for whatever reason, they are resetting it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. The only thing I can think of that requires resetting is for shiny hunting for raids. Yeah, but this is an overworld. I'm going to say that's wrong. Like, I, I don't see any reason why you would reset anything. Like, guys, I, I'm going to be very clear. I am not going to reset my console in any way, shape, or form. How you get the increased odds... Like, okay. When you are fainting a Pokemon, it adds a count in the decks. What I do is I get it up to max count. I get it up to 999 even though you need to only get up to about 600. And what I'm doing is I'm increasing the brilliant rate. I am not necessarily increasing the amount of Pokemon, but rather I'm increasing the brilliant rate. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason to not save any of that work that you do. Because if you do that, then I think that fucks over your counter. So you're actually decreasing your odds if you're not saving that. So I, I just go for the increased brilliant rate spawn for a Pokemon. That's that's all I'm doing, and that's the best way to help us with wild hunting. And guys, just as a note, that Gossip Floor we encountered was not brilliant. The only brilliant shiny I've gotten in Sword and Shield is Stunky, and it was a random encounter. By synchronize, do they mean the actual ability synchronize? There, I think there's a move called synchronize and maybe ability, but I like that might. I, I actually don't know what that move would do. I, 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 I'm not very knowledgeable with abilities. Like I just want to use my own team to shiny hunt. And I'm not gonna go get a Pokemon to just increase my odds of like a Pokemon spawn rate. It would be helpful, but at that point I wouldn't be using the team I want. Yes, they do mean the ability to synchronize. Okay, well, because here's why. Because I think that there's some things that we're not under that we don't know. So right now, not over, uh, not over grass. No, over grass. That is. Right.
Okay, here is some critical information. Here's why the game wants you to save and reset so often. So here's some critical information. You know how when eggs are given to you, that instantaneously determines everything about them, including their shininess? Mm -hmm. That same thing is the case with shinies. An overworld Pokemon is determined to be shiny once it appears. That means if you save and encounter it, and fail to catch it, you can reload the game, and the next, that same Pokemon can be re-encountered, and it will always be shiny. Every single time. I mean, that's, so it's like, nice that, to know. Yeah. So, like, but, once a Pokemon appears on screen, it's been determined shiny already. It's not when you encounter it. So, I think that's why they're saying save and reset so often, because it's like, save when you see a, like, save when you see a Pokemon. Encounter it. If it's not shiny, kill it. If it is shiny and you like fail to encounter, fail to catch it, you can just reset the game. It will be shiny again. It you can also change its nature that way if it has the wrong nature. Um, I don't care about but that. But like, yeah. But the thing about it is, I am encountering so many Pokemon that. I, I just don't think that matters, yeah. especially with us playing the game on camera. Yeah, yeah. Now, this sounds something nice to do off camera, but I don't want to do it on camera. Yeah, that's fine. Because I, I just don't see any reason to ever reset your game. Like, besides maybe failing to catch the shiny, but... The game does, so the game still does current recommendations even though you have every Pokemon in this game. Like, right? I think I ha have the autosave feature on, so. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, anyways, so, uh, right now, your Pokedex is still showing recommendations. Even though you've got every Pokemon, right? Hmm? I think so. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Yes. Okay. So, those Pokemon are ones that have boosted spawn rates. Um, I think that resets every... It's either every day or every... Yeah, it's it's globally. So it's 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 global based on, I believe, the day. Um... I mean, that's nice and all, but... Say I go to shiny hunt those Pokemon. Well, I yeah. can't shiny hunt them the next time because they're no longer yes. those recommended... Recommended... Pokemon. So, I guess that's a nice way of deciding what I want to shiny hunt next, but... It just oh. doesn't help us. Um, okay, here's here's actually some very important information for you. So, uh, well, there's two things. One, so it turns out that the whole fishing thing, that's bullshit. It's, it's a real thing, but fishing only actually affects fishing shiny. Or fishing uh, brilliant Pokemon. Because there are actually brilliant fish Pokemon. Yes, that I yeah. know that. Yeah, so that fishing thing where you just keep KOing Pokemon, that only affects fish. It does not affect overall Pokemon at all. Okay, good. So that whole what? method's not necessary. Second thing, every time you KO a Pokemon, any Pokemon, there is a 50% chance that the next spawn will be the same Pokemon. So... The game, so you absolutely want to keep KOing Pokemon forever. Because every time you KO a, a Gossifleur, the next Pokemon is 50% likely to be a Gossifleur. So, to me, that sounds like. Yeah, basically. Let's go Pikachu. It's EV. Let's go Pikachu and So, um. But I'm just reading through the site and going through anything that might affect this. Um, obviously, it mentions that weather plays a role because certain weather means certain things spawn more frequently. But I don't. But here's the thing: when you that. KO the Pokemon, is that guaranteed to just be the next Pokemon that spawns a Gossifleur, or it's does saved. that mean it will be the exact copy of the Gossifleur I just no. KO'd? It's meaning that. 
What it means is that it when you KO a Gossifor, the next Pokemon to appear on screen is a has a 50% chance of being a Gossifor and overriding the table. And do I have to KO it or can I just run from you it? You have to KO it. It must be a KO. Not a run, not a catch, a KO. Um, I might consider doing that. This is why, okay, this is why the game recommends saving. Because it's basically, you save, you KO the Pokemon. If it, 50, if it, the 50% fails, reload the game. KO the next Pokemon. KO it again, and, and like keep reloading. The next Pokemon that will spawn has a 50% chance to always be. It's the same thing with Synchronize. It synchronizes that effect. So if you reload, the next Pokemon that spawns in when you reload, 50% to be Gossifor. So it's like, it's not a great mechanic, but it's good to know that you are incentivized to keep killing all the Pokemon that you want. Because it's more likely to spawn that Pokemon more. To me, that's sounding like you can even KO the Shiny and try to get double Shiny back to back. Well, uh, again, if you KO the shiny, just reset the game immediately, because the Pokemon, when it res when the game respawns, it will put that same Pokemon there, and it will be shiny again. The thing about this is, I don't really see this being an ish. I know. I'm just I'm trying to figure out the the best way to get the Pokemon as quick as possible and still be enjoyable for the audience. And it sounds like the fastest thing you can do is KO every single Gossifleur. Like I, I'm fine. And that's with, it. I, I'm fine with feigning every gust. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you need to go into like constant right. resetting the game. That no, I don't think you should do. That I don't. Want but to I do. think that KOing every Gossifor sounds like it has a material. Basically, the more you KO Gossifor, the more likely you're going to get a brilliant Gossifor. And that's the ones that have like a one in four hundred chance of being shiny. So I, I know if you have a specific combo in the decks, it also increases. Yeah, it also, there's also certain, yeah, it's, it also depends on what Pokemon you have in your first slot and the ability of that Pokemon. Because that, whatever that Pokemon is and its ability actually tells the game, like, increase the odds of X Pokemon to spawn. Now, if that's not on the route, then it doesn't matter, but... And I don't, there, there's like a table that lists every Pokemon right. and every ability and be like, what does this affect? And, and it's like, and I'm not which is a insane. Yeah, I'm not gonna go out yeah. and just. We don't need to go to that level. Synchronize. Yeah, like that's this. an insane level to go to. We don't need to do that. Like, plus the fastest way to get that is to get a non-shiny yeah. Pokemon that has synchronized. But ability. basically, guys, I think the thing that we've learned from from reading the, the Smogon University article that's going over all the details. It sounds like, at least for overworld, for, for shiny hunts with eggs, it's exactly the same as normal. No changes. With overworld hunting, basically KO everything. If you want to go into further depth, you can, but if you just want the best odds quickly, KO literally every po like every species of the Pokemon you want. So if you want, th that's why you kept getting, um, uh, Zang, uh, like, Zig uh, Zigzagoon, because you KO a brilliant, and it would just keep spawning, a, it would spawn another, uh, Pokemon, and it was more likely to be brilliant. So it's like, you just kept having that negative loop. So, um. I mean. Like, it's not a problem if we do that it, still. It, but it wasn't necessarily a negative loop, but it was yeah. the shiny I didn't want. Yet. Exactly. So it's like, yeah. But from the sounds of it, it's like, if you're going for a certain Pokemon, in the overworld, just keep KOing it. It doesn't matter what the, the dex number says. Just never stop KOing the Pokemon. And that will give you some of the best odds. Okay, that I can do. So, yeah. uh, well, it's good to know that fishing is Yeah, the bullshit. fishing thing only... Yeah, again, it, it's, a, it's a real thing, but it only applies to fishing. To water. Yeah, so it's like doing the... Well, it wasn't even fishing, was it? Or was it? It was just, it was just like constant. Uh, Originally, it was. You fished. Oh yeah, you fished Pokemon, and then had to beat the uh, KO them. You had to fish them, KO them thirty-one times in a row. They couldn't yeah. run. You couldn't catch them. Yeah. And 
then whatever Pokemon spawned first is the only one that got the effect of odds. Yeah, yeah. So it's and that's still the case for fish. So it's or, you, you is fish it thirty-one fish times. Or fishing. Fishing. So it's you fish thirty-one times, and so the it's next not the Pokemon you fish. fish. Yes. The next fish. shadow, black shadow in the water, is boosted. Uh, shiny brilliant odds, odds oh, which brilliant. is boost, which is boosted shiny. Okay, guys. So, so we're probably so for fishing. That's the main mechanic. We're we're probably not going to ever fish. Yeah. Now I have gotten a shiny fish Pokemon, but yeah. it was Magic Card. Yeah. And Magic Card is one of the easiest <laughs> shinies to get. Yeah. So if, I mean, the only easier shiny to get is uh, <clears throat> like the Red Gyarados, because it's free. It is literally actually free. Yeah, if you go back to Soul Silver, yep. it's actually harder than Magic Card. Yeah. But it's like... But yeah, it's like if you're trying in these games, it's not free. But like, yeah, if you go back to Soul Silver and catch it and just transfer it up, it's like it's a completely free Pokemon. I don't even think you can transfer from that far back anymore. No, you can. All the... As long as you have bank on a, a system, it but will I even permanently think that's going to go away. No. That's, they, they've announced that that, will, that is going to perpetually exist. Bank, they're they're not gonna allow you to download Bank anymore, but as long as you have Bank, the servers will continue to operate. Okay. So, at least for the foreseeable future. But is it gonna be free? Yes, it's completely free. Good, I know I have to pay for that stupid shit. Yeah. Well, honestly, you don't have any Pokemon Bank anymore, right? No. Yeah, so you should just I, I think if you're still Pokemon. paying for it, you absolutely should just not pay for it. Because the transferring feature is going to be free. I here's the thing. I don't know if they'll switch that. I don't know if they'll switch that to be. No, free they already free. announced that that is. I think it might already be free. But I'm saying if you are still paying for it, you should not be. I, like, I don't know if I am. Like I would. I would find that out because they shouldn't still be charging you because it should be free at this current time. Yeah, I'll check it. Look. Guys, I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna go get something to drink, so I'll be right back. Two. Oh my god, the stupid fucking counter! Stupid fucking counter. It will not count back! Like, guys, I'm up to 30, it claims, and I'm not. I'm up to 26, and it won't fucking count back. Count back. Finally. My God. Like, I, I thought they fucking fixed this shit, and they still haven't. Like, I really wish I could complain to A-Drive about it. I didn't mean to get that egg. But yeah, I, I continuously tried to hit the back button, and it just kept counting up. I, I, it's the only thing I hate about the A-Drive app. Okay, I'm back, guys. Yeah, it does annoy me that uh, apps do not think of uh, those with uh, finger-sized challenges. Like, people who have larger fingers. It's like... Yeah, they, the they have such a small back button. And they can make it probably double or triple the size of it right it now. It has the space. Right? Yes. Like, no. You are an asshole.
I'm gonna be standing up for a little bit, guys. <laughs> but, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, guys, we'll start probably fainting all Pokemon that we encounter now in the wild, but I will be interested in seeing if that has a, ne a <coughs> noticeable effect. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe by the time we get to uh, uh, Scarlet Violet, shiny hunting, they'll find they'll have done enough work for us to know actually how you're supposed to shiny hunt in Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> I mean, there's probably a method now, but I, I just well, yeah, haven't yeah, looked but I'm just, into it. Yeah, but I'm just saying that like they might have figured out all the kinks and have like a well-written document on like here's how you do it. For example, figuring out how the fuck you're supposed to egg hunt. But, yeah, guys, I, I really didn't want to do what A-Drive did, which is move on to the newest game to Shiny Hunt, and every time it comes out. But, unfortunately, we're just way too far back. Yeah, the problem is the, there's just too many Pokemon and too many games, so... Yeah, so I do not mind moving older games into a mobile slot. Well, that was actually a question I was going to ask, because you have a... Your policy is that if you can easily hunt it, you will hunt it. Yes. Uh, the question is, does that apply to games that you're moving into mobile slots? Like, if if they're in a mobile slot, do you care if people offer Pokemon from that game? So, like, when you stop this game, at that point, do you still want to shiny hunt every single Pokemon on camera, or are you like, eh, I don't care as much anymore? It's not the current game. Because I'm moving them into a mobile slot. I'm not going to necessarily be able to stream what I do. Yeah, you'll be recording so, everything. So, if I was offered it, it would have to be the same rules. Or something similar. Okay. Like, again, next three... A shiny attempts. If yeah. I don't get it, then I would accept the trade. But the thing about it is, I'm gonna be able, like, say, if it was the next series I'm recording. Yeah. And I'm putting all my time into that. I think I'll get the shiny faster. Probably. Especially if I do like six hours of video, but I'm not gonna do that, guys. I'm gonna keep it at three hours. Well, I was gonna say you're like. You talked about cutting the videos down anyways. But, so. yes, I'm also probably going to be doing that. So, who knows if, how actually long you'll be doing it. Like, I, I'm thinking of cutting all the unnecessary, like, waiting, and then just making compilation videos of me getting the shiny. Yeah, we don't know how that'll work, guys. We'll see. Because that's the only way I'm going to be able to keep up uh, with older shiny hunt series. Again, unless you want to just say fuck it and that your rules only apply to the current game and once the if a game goes into a past slot you just say, Eh, I don't care if people just hand them to me. That's the only We're not there yet. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying that like that's the Yeah, it's it's one or the other. I don't see any other way around it. Like guys, I love shiny hunting so much so that I wanna give myself a chance to get a shiny that I can easily obtain. So say this happened with Sobble, it has to get three streams before I'm wanting to be able to trade for another yeah. one. And, now, and to be fair, can the, we right now? Yes. Yeah. And to be fair, it's that obviously doesn't include like any of the trade Pokemon. That doesn't include any of like the. Um, well, here's the thing: we don't have to trade for those Pokemon because I buy both them. versions. Yeah. No, 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 I'm meaning the, I'm meaning Pokemon that are like, if they're, uh, if they're trainer traits, if they were like a trainer trait exclusive Pokemon or something, those very rare. I, those don't. If they are not yeah. easily obtainable, I would yeah. trade for it's like anything that's not easily obtainable, so it's like anything that's not in the overworld, 
or is not easily egg hunted. So I, I'd always trade for like a like, legendary. Yeah, legendaries are always on the table. Fossils are always on the table. Uh, Ultra beasts. Yeah. Guardians. Oh, you know, still sort of legendaries, but, uh, but yeah, anything that's not easily obtainable. Um, that means anything that is set encounters, um, or anything like that. Yeah, so mainly anything that's shiny locked, I'd always trade for. Well, yeah, obviously. Because, guys, I do not like the concept of that. Like, guys, I tried shiny hunting in X and Y. And I tried doing it for Xerneas. Well, two weeks would go by. I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe it's just a hard hunt. Four weeks go by. Okay, what the fuck? So, then I look up, look it up, and I discover that it's shiny locked. And I'm like, what the fuck, shiny locked? And I learned what it was, and it's basically Pokemon you can't get shiny in game. And I hate it. Because I spent all my time trying to shiny hunt it. And I never could have got it. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. It, it, I, I'm basically pissed off that I lost time. So, yeah, that's why I'm always up for trades for shiny locked Pokemon. I'd always accept it. I Except mean, like, on camera you can sometimes. Do. I mean... Right now, I do have the capability of hacking shiny locked Pokemon in Sun and Moon if I wanted to. Well, sure, but I, I'm yeah. able to do that right now. But that's but, a pain in the ass. But then I'd have to go through uh, coding the Pokemon, making it shiny, and then transferring it in bank. Which yeah. I don't want to do because... I've transferred Pokemon and I've lost them. For all I know, I've also lost more Pokemon because I know they just updated home to detect more hacked shiny Pokemon. Honestly, and I, I haven't checked that yet. I don't yet. understand how they detect certain hacked shinies because a lot of the it's probably in code or something. Well, what I'm saying is a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the event exclusive Pokemon, for example. The event Pokemon, they're all identical. They all have identical stats, identical moves, identical abilities, identical they, everything. They could they could do it on summary. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, what's stopping somebody from just duplicating that one Pokemon one trillion times? And just wonder trading them all. Like, what's the game? There's no possible way that the, the Pokemon company could determine any difference between any of them. Unless they're saying that they're... Unless they're literally keeping a record of every original trainer and saying, well, this po person has one trillion of the same sh uh, event Pokemon that they only could have gotten once. But there's no possible way for them but to know think, which one's real. They can't really plan for that either because sometimes you can get more than one code. Yeah, so it's like... I can't imagine any possible way that they can... Like, they could possibly do that. Like, guys, what pissed me off? So, like, so, just copy legit... Just just get a version of a shiny Pokemon that is legit from an event and just repeatedly duplicate it. And I don't see how they could possibly ever determine that. Like, I get this, guys. So, this has been an experience I had once. So, uh, my friend gave me an expired Mew card. I didn't know it was expired. But... The thing about it is, that code still worked, and I got my Mew. Well, um, about a couple days later, or a week or two, I don't know what happened, but this was in Alpha Sapphire. I had already beaten the game, I had, like, I didn't transfer my Pokemon in it yet, thank God. But, they reset my game. Like, I literally got a notice on my 3DS saying something about, I think it had something to do with hacked Pokemon. I'm like, I didn't have a hacked Pokemon. 
So, they, what I think happened was they saw that I have, I had gotten an expired Mew by accident or something, and they reset my fucking game for it. And I only had one. Hello, Braylon. Hello, Braylon. Yeah, so yeah, I I'm, hated the fucking Pokemon Company for that. I'm still guessing you had some like rare glitch or something happen, and that it wasn't that it had actually nothing to do that, with the, that the was, Pokemon Company doing like doing something like that. But that was the only thing that changed for my game. That yeah, was yeah. the only thing. But I'm, but yeah, I'm just saying. I'm assuming that it, it actually they. I'm assuming they had no way of like connecting to your game or anything. It was literally just some kind of weird glitch happened and it reset your game. And they put up some weird notice about what, like, they had some kind of, like, pre-programmed, like, notice that pops up on your screen that says, like, detected in, uh, detected some kind of strange thing that caused, that we had to reset the game. Yeah, the, the only, something. The it only, was probably some fail-safe program. The only thing that pissed me off more than that was losing my Pokemon when I was transferring up from bank. Like, that was the only other things that pissed me off with the Pokemon Company. Yeah, they reset my game for no fucking reason, and then they delete my Pokemon for no reason. I'm pretty sure they, by my count, they've deleted three of my shiny Pokemon so far. Maybe. And they could have deleted more because I haven't checked my home in a while. But yeah. How you doing, Braylon? To me, like, they have no right to delete my Pokemon. It's my right to do whatever with my Pokemon. Like, I hope you get there soon. Yeah, awesome to hear. My, my Pokemon, my right to do whatever I want with them. I think that's fair. Like, I, I, I don't condone hacking shiny Pokemon. That's why I haven't transferred any of the hack shinies I made in Sword and Shield. But I'm just saying, if I wanted to, I could do that. Hello, Mr. B. Save us a lot of shiny hunting time. But I want to try to get them legitimately. Even if it'll take forever. Well, that's true, Mr. P, but this isn't an IP or a copyright related issue. That's the point. It's that fundamentally, they're selling you the software and letting you play the game. But it's not their... What does... Like, fundamentally, what does a shiny Pokemon change about their game? Literally, actually nothing. It's just a different color of a Yeah, it, it is literally just bragging rights. So, I understand the argument of like, oh, but we do multiplayer online stuff, and therefore we have to determine if you're doing things legitimately. But there is no reason why, if a Pokemon is shiny, that will change literally anything about their system. They could absolutely just introduce a system that says, hey, this Pokemon shouldn't have this move. There's no possible way it could. Delete the move. There's no way this Pokemon could have this ability. Reset its ability to be, like, their one of their default abilities. Indigo League was really good. Yeah, it really, it really was good. Um, they could absolutely make a system that does something that simple, and it would resolve... 99% of their mu online multi -battle, or multiplayer battle stuff. But there's never a reason why the Pokemon Company needs to reset a Pokemon Shiny value. Ever. Because it doesn't change anything. Like, I could understand... So they can make the arguments of, like, it's our IP and we have the rights to do whatever they we want. But it's like, but you really kind of don't. Like, like, here's the thing. I could understand it from, like, a competitive playing in the Pokemon League point of view. I could understand, like, checking for fake Pokemon because 
you know, those are technically considered cheaters. So that I could understand. But when it's for collectors who are just collecting, who are not in it for the competitiveness, that's when I start having a problem. Yeah. And the other fundamental problem with it is it's it's perfectly fine to say, well, this Pokemon was fake and was was like improperly was not mated by us. But the problem is the Pokemon company has no possible way to determine if you did that or someone else did that. So, deleting the Pokemon fundamentally imperils people who's not at fault and does not actually fix the problem. Like, it's one thing to say, well, the Pokemon's fake and delete it, but if you're only deleting the people who are keeping the fake Pokemon and not knowing they're fake, you're not really helping your ecosystem. Your goal is to ban the people making them. Not the people who are necessarily owning them. Yeah. Like owning God. them's not the problem. It's using them competitively and making them. Like, and neither of which is being done here. Like guys, so again, there's again, your, I, there, again, your problem. Yeah. I own several hack shiny Pokemon, and I know they're hacks. But I have them because there's no other way to get them. Like, yeah, I've not heard about the... Um, the Pikachu and Gardevoir, or Gengar uh, Squishmallows. Are these are these those pillow things? Because I knew that there was. I knew I heard about like a uh, a Gengar um, pillow, but I didn't know what they were called. But anyway, literally the Pokemon Company could take several years before they even re-release some shiny Pokemon. Like. Like, uh, take Shiny Mew, for example. The only way to legitimately get one right now is to... You had to have kept Pokemon Ranch through WiiWare on your original Wii. And then you'd have to transfer it from your Wii to your game console. Sorry, that's not Shiny Mew. Shiny Celebi. Shiny, Shiny Celebi. That is yeah. the only way to legitimately get one right now. Yeah, it's like, well, my, my thing is the Pokemon Company and Slash Game Freak have two choices. They can either say, you, every Pokemon has no, the same shiny odds, and there are no lock shiny Pokemon. And there's Pokemon. no shiny lock Pokemon. And then they can say, well, you ha we gave you options and easy ways to get them, and you didn't follow that, so therefore we're deleting the fakes. Yeah. Th or they say, well, we're shiny locking them. And then they accept that some people can't get their shiny locked Pokemon when they release them, and therefore, the cheats are their fault. It's well, like, the, the fake only... legendary shinies are the Pokemon company's fault for not providing easy and accessible ways to get them. Sorry, the only other way right now to get a shiny Selby is through Pokemon Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... But yeah. Let's be fair. Pokemon Go is not an easy way to get a shiny. But here's the thing. Shiny. Yes, you can get them shiny, but you have to complete the tasks to get them shiny, and that could take years. Like right now, they're about to introduce shiny Jirachi. Oh God. And I can't get it unless I participate in whatever their Pokemon Go Fest is this year, and I have to pay money for it. Luckily, guys, I have a shiny Jirachi, so I don't really care for it. But that, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to, now you have to pay money for these shinies that you have to get in Pokemon Go now. And I think that is bullshit. Yeah. Like, I don't even have a Cosmog in Pokemon Go right now. A normal one, not a shiny one. But yeah, I think I think at at the end of the day, I'm never going to agree with the game freak on their shiny policies because they're punishing the wrong people. They they could absolutely check every single Pokemon as soon as they are put into your box in game and determine if they're fake. But they don't the, do that. But here's the thing: 
they couldn't easily do it because say if a trainer traded it to me right but what i'm saying is and it's not the same player id as the one i have in shield right but that's not so what i'm talking about so they could what delete i'm talking it about due to those reasons i'm talking about like it, i'm saying from past games pokemon home makes sense pokemon home is the entry point for all old games but what i'm saying is that for modern games they could check right here right now when this egg hatches they could do a check and make sure that everything makes sense with that pokemon and if it's not delete it and then that's punishing the person that's doing it and not the receiver they could check in your inventory whenever a, a new pokemon appears if it is fake that would never punish you, the trader, because the tradee, the person giving it to you, wouldn't have it either. But I don't know. I don't think there's an easy way to determine if the Pokemon was traded to you or not. Yeah, yeah, but that's not, again, And that's why they're punishing more than just the person that hacked and traded it to you. Yes, but that, that's what I'm saying. They're doing a site-wide scan saying every Pokemon Home account check every Pokemon, determine if they're fakes, delete the fakes. And I'm saying the more effective way to do it is have the have that be on the game side. Where the Pokemon are generated. They're not being generated in home. People aren't people aren't making fake Pokemon inside home. They're putting them in home after getting them in a game. And checking game side always punishes the right person. Got a hack Pokemon that, tra that transferred in. It turned into an egg and stuck because I can't remove it from my box. Yeah. Stuff like that's weird. Because, yeah, that I I've seen that in too. older games. Yeah. It's basically a failsafe. If the game doesn't know what the hell to do with a Pokemon, it just creates an egg that can't be uh, hatched because it doesn't have a hatching timer. So, that don't happen with newer games anymore. Um, it happened in Sun and Moon, but you could delete that egg. Yeah. In older games, you can't get rid of it at all. No. So that's... Because, like, for example, here's a good example in a more modern game. In Pokemon Go, somebody actually got a shiny of a Pokemon that wasn't released yet. It was actually like they found a they got found or got a shiny by accident by accident it was not supposed to exist and the pokemon go company actually had put out a post and was like uh that they had worked with the person and that the shiny had returned home it's like no it should have oh, yes. returned home. i remember they that fucking story kept that i remember you that story you should never fucking take that away from them if they got it accidentally that's your fucking fault just say hey i guess you got a free uh, a pre-release yeah, I can't. Like, you yeah, I can't believe they took and that away. And that's what happens every fucking time Game Freak does that. Even and though I think this I one wasn't. Game Freak. I literally, I think they made a video on it. I think yeah. that's how I it's heard like, about it. Fucking assholes! I can't not believe that happened. Just that's the same thing with Game Freak. It's like, again, who the fuck cares? Who cares if the Pokemon in your inventory is fake or not? Why should Game Freak care? As long as it's not used competitively, who fucking cares? Exactly. That, that... I know there are a lot of people that do competitive Pokemon. Like, yeah, it's, and, I'm not that's saying your it's thing. not a problem. I'm saying that but unless, don't punish literally everyone who is not doing competitive because of what because of the needs of competitive. Y yes, I'm not a comp competitive player by any means, guys. I'm a collector. Do not punish the fucking collectors. Because that's all they want to do is collect. They want to get every shiny Pokemon. And when that takes fucking forever, of course they're going to find other means to try to get them. Okay, I'm going to get off my diatribe now and uh, go back to doing what I was doing. So. Like I Apologies if, uh, if the uh, conversation was uh, a bit more in-depth than you were hoping for. Guys, we'll get back to stupid stuff. I, I do like shiny hunting Pokemon. I, I really do, but I hate that it takes way too fucking long. 
And especially if I only can egg hunt it. So, that's why I accept shiny lock trades and harder to hunt Pokemon trades. And also, eventually, the thing I'm shiny hunting for, I will accept those tr trades as well. All, all my rules are on the updated list that we have. But, yeah, I, I absolutely hate that I get punished for all the shiny Pokemon I have. Like, it worries me, as a collector, that I'm gonna wake up one day and half of all my Pokemon, including Shinies and Normals, are gone. Because there are Pokemon I have that I do not know are hacked. Guys, I did a lot of Wonder Trading in Sun and Moon. So I could have got a non-legendary mythical Ultra Beast shiny and didn't know it was hacked. And then I wake up one day and it's not there. Oh, I hate it as a concept. I hate it. But it could legit happen. <sighs> but yeah, I hope Game Freak gets their shit together. Cause I I don't think there is an easy way to prevent like hacked Pokemon. Like people are always gonna find a way to do it. That's why the action replay. I'm sorting exists. Magic the Gathering cards while listening to your tirade. To be fair, Mr. B, I was uh, I was categorizing Pokemon cards before this stream. So, I I feel you. But yeah, guys, the point when I'm going to use an action replay is when the shiny hunt is taking way too fucking long. Well, action replays aren't really a thing anymore. Um, like, we have an action replay right now, but it's for Amiibos. Yeah. Not shiny hunting. They might have one now, but I'm not sure. But yeah, that's not really a thing anymore. Not that action replays don't still exist, but... Uh, Game Freak just removed the ability for you to make all Pokemon shiny in-game. Mostly because that was... Doing so was actually un... un they couldn't check that. Because if you just, if you just, uh, in older games, you could just check the all, like, Pokemon Shiny. Like, make, make Shiny check one, and, um, that's a completely legitimate Pokemon. There's no I, way for the game to check. I loved that. Where yeah. you encountered every Pokemon Shiny. That was fucking fun. Yeah. And I did that in Black and White, guys. And I caught every wild Pokemon Shiny. I loved it. Yeah, but that's also the thing where it's like, you can't... You can do that up to Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah. Last time he used action replay was for my GameCube. Yeah. Huh? Guys, I had a, I have a really old action replay, like, for uh, Pokemon, like, Fire, Red, and Leaf Green, which you actually have to... It's, like, slightly damaged, so you actually have to clamp the game onto the action replay and like push down a little bit so it'll connect properly and i mean i have to have an actual clamp like i actually have to get a clamp put it on the game and slightly squeeze it so it properly seats <laughs> it's a pain in the ass but um luckily i haven't had to use that for like a trillion years but yeah guys um, eventually we're gonna play Moemon for the channel, and we've been putting it off quite a bit. Um, but I literally have to beat the game, and then 
action replay it once we beat the game to show off some of the shinies. Because I want you guys to see it. it the shinies in Moemon are fantastic. Like, it deserves to be shown on camera. Like, they're <laughs> that good. Um, we are going after our second shiny Sobble right now. But what's after Sobble? Like, completely after Sobble? Yeah, that's what they're asking. Oh, um, I'm... I'm not saying it's gonna be a surprise. But currently, we are going after the entire Sobble line. And then, we're alongside that, we're doing the Gossip Floor line. I've already decided what we're doing as the egg hunt next, and I want it to be a surprise. Yeah. Because the next one is a... Like, older bro didn't like Gossip Floor Shiny, but I have a feeling he'll like the next one. Yeah, I, ju uh, yeah, I just don't, I don't like the design. It looks weird. But right now, the two shiny hunts we're doing are Gossip Floor and Sobble. As we still need one more Gossip Floor, and we need two shiny Sobble. I might go for shiny Wooloo. Shiny Wooloo's really good. Wooloo is great Pokemon. Oh, great. I know that's a Pokemon that a lot of people, including Older Pro, would want me to go for next for Wild Hunts. It is a good Pokemon. I would recommend it. Like, I, I pondered doing Roly Coly next, but I haven't decided yet, guys. This wire just fucking broke. It won't charge my phone now. Yeah. R right now I'm. Right now I'm. Wanting to do shinies. I want since we're not going to be shiny hunting in Sword and Shield. Probably within the next few months. Because we're going to have to switch over to Scarlet and Violet. Which means yes, guys, I will transfer. All of the Pokemon I have from Sword and Shield up to Scarlet and Violet. Um, except maybe... Actually, no. I would have to transfer all of my Pokemon. So I would have to go get another Talon Flame and keep that as my Masuda hunting Pokemon. And I'd have to have a new team of Pokemon. <laughs> on Sword and Shield while we shiny hunt it for a mobile series. That's not far off. Getting very close. Yeah, what I do in terms of completing the decks, um, my best opinion is if you don't have bank or anything and you don't want to use it it's just surprise trade and you'll probably get the whole decks within a month but that's if you're not also actively trying to get the pokemon that you're looking for so you could easily get the whole decks by wonder trading i've done that before in sun and moon um in fact, I had to do that for Sun. <laughs> like, I, I basically had no other choice. Because um, I wanted to shiny hunt in the game with the best odds, and I couldn't transfer my Pokemon up. So I had to wonder trade for the rest of them, and that's why most of my Pokemon aren't level 100, because I had to replace them. Now, I just wait until uh, Pokemon Home is available, and then I complete the decks. So, I'll just transfer up all the Pokemon, get the Pokemon I need to complete the decks. So, like, uh, for the game, if there's new legendary Pokemon, I go and get those. Basically, any new Pokemon, I go and get them, and then I wait, and then I transfer 
um, up from Pokemon Home. And that's the easiest way I can complete the decks. But I've had the decks complete for years, so it's easier for me than the most. Huggy Demiru? I wonder if you can get that in the wild area at certain times. Yeah, I wouldn't know about Togi Demiru. I don't know exactly where all the Pokemon are. I know that if you get the DLC, some Pokemon will be easier to get. So, do I recommend having the DLC? Yeah. Um, like, maybe for, like, a complete the dex standpoint, so... Yep, in certain weather. I think the wild area might be how I got my Togi Dimmer. Huh? But I can't remember. I also could have got it from Surprise Trade. Uh, again, I was just recommending if you want to complete the current decks you're trying to complete faster um, There are some Pokemon that you can get easier than the main than in the main game with the DLC. I Don't know if that includes Toki Dimmer But, um, like I said, I, I've had the main decks complete for years, so. If you don't want to get the DLC right now, then I'd recommend Wonder Trading if you can't find the Pokemon you're going after. Because, I bet I, if I surprise trade, I bet I could get Togi Demaru within the first two days. Because, the, but that's if you devote all your time to surprise training. And that's the only thing you're doing. You, because, like, the, the Pokemon are easier to get than you think. But then again, everybody doesn't have the online, so. I don't know. Like, I think I might have a better luck chance than most, because if you've seen our Pokemon card videos, <laughs> that might tell you uh, some of our shiny hunt videos. So, I I'm just saying what, like, what I do, like, in my experience. So if you don't want a surprise trade, then your only hope is to maybe get into the wild area under those certain conditions. Because <laughs> I think the wild area gives you an increased chance for certain Pokemon under certain conditions. Like, I think Maractus was appear appearing in the overworld. Yep, right there. But I, I don't know. I've done a lot of surprise trading. It has helped my deck. We're almost at two hours now. Yeah, in Sun and Moon, I had to do a lot of surprise trading. In fact, that's how I completed my decks. And that was before you could transfer up your Pokemon. Yeah. And I think that took me 
a month to get the whole decks on surprise trading. But that was for Sun and Moon. Now this is Sword and Shield. But in Sun and Moon... Sun and Moon was when they started. They are not transferring every Pokemon, right? Or was that Sword and Shield? Sword and Shield. Okay, so you actually have less to do in Sword and Shield. Yeah. But it still might take you a month. Guys, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, McDonald's will do that to you. By the way, guys, speaking of McDonald's, our McDonald's has gotten our order wrong three times in a row now. Three times in a row. And we're getting tired of it. Like, we asked for completely plain cheeseburgers. Okay, not completely plain. Um, for cheese-only cheeseburgers, and they'd give us a cheeseburger with everything on it. It pisses us off greatly. And sun and Moon... In 2020, I made it to Pokemon League, but that's where I left off. Yeah, like, I did a lot of surprise trading in X and Y and Sun and Moon just to complete the whole decks. Before you could transfer Pokemon. <clears throat> so, like I said, I... I have it easier than most because every time a new game comes out, I'm not immediately, like, right away I have to complete the decks uh, to get the Shiny Charm that way and Shiny Hunt. I wait until, like, home is compatible with the game, and then I transfer up my old Pokemon, and I complete the decks faster that way. I just catch all the newer Pokemon. That's all I worry about. And then I transfer my Pokemon. I find that to be the easiest way to complete the get decks and get the shiny charm. But that's assuming you've completed the decks in the previous game. Yeah, like, I have copies of even older games than Y, and I haven't even played half of them. Like, I've never played Fire Red or Leaf Green. Okay, that's technically not true. I've played a mod of it. I've played several mods of them, but I've never played the base game unmodded. Um, closest was Moemon. I played Moemon. That's technically Fire Red and Leaf Green. But it, it's still modded. But the only thing that changed was the sprites of the Pokemon. That's that's it. Otherwise, it's the same game. Um, one, like, those games are one of the reasons why we've started our YouTube and Twitch channel. It is so we have the time to play old games like that. So, literally, I've never played any of the... Okay, that's not true. I haven't completed a lot of the older games. And now that we have a YouTube ch channel, I could devote my series into doing that. Now, I'm not promising we're going to complete the decks with every series. That I we can't do for older games. But I can at least beat the main and post game of the older games. <laughs> like, that's what I love about our YouTube channel. We could do stuff like that. Yeah, the other thing I like about our YouTube channel is we start games that we haven't even played before.
Like, for instance, we actually have a game coming up that I've never played before. So, uh, I hope you enjoy that series when it comes out on our YouTube. But yeah, I've been playing Pokemon for years and I enjoy every minute of it. Even the long ass shiny hunt moments. Stomach must have really been hurting if he's in the bathroom this long. Like that happened to me earlier uh, this morning. Maybe there's a stomach bug going around. That's not good. Ugh. <sighs> Surprise trading. Since it's surprise trading, you never know what you're gonna get. Like, I have gotten several shinies that way. And yes, even hacked shinies I've also gotten that way. Like, I got all of the shiny mythicals in Sun and Moon that way. Like, I remember that I got to the point where I was only missing Meloetta. And that is one of the only ones I recorded on camera, me obtaining. I wish I could go back and get that clip, but unfortunately it's not really good enough to be on this channel. Honestly, I need to republic that clip. Because I do plan to republic a lot of the videos I've privated on my old channel. But I've just not gotten around to it. I play Pokemon Battle Revolution on the Wii. Okay, so here's the thing about Pokemon Battle Revolution. Yes, I have played it. But I'm not the one who owns it. I always played Older Bros version. And what I would do is take the Pokemon I own on my copy of Diamond and Pearl and copy it to a save file I had on Older Bros Wii. So, yes, I play it. No, I don't own it. I wish I did. But I, I did like it. Um, I don't know if we'll play it for the channel. Like, in order for us to play Battle Revolution for the channel, we would have to play through Diamond and Pearl, unemulated. And then transfer those Pokemon to Battle Revolution. God, that would... Like, I would literally have to play or have played Diamond and Pearl around the time we finally play it for the channel. So, could we play it for the channel? Yes. Are we going to? I wouldn't mind doing it. I don't know if Older Bro would do it. So... It has a chance. It all it all depends on if it can be successfully played right now. Cause I don't even remember how to transfer my Pokemon to Battle Revolution. But, yeah, I have played so many Pokemon games. I haven't played a lot of the Mystery Dungeon games, though. I, I own, I think, I finally have gotten all of the Mystery Dungeon games. I think I own all of them now, but I've not played all of them.
And by the way, guys, if and when we do Super Mystery Dungeon, Older Bros playing that game. I I refuse to play it. I own it, but I refuse to play it. Because if you do not play it correctly, you mm, the game will punish you. Like, I have an action replay now, but I don't know if it would help me with Super Mystery Dungeon. It might. But that's the only way I could legitimately beat Super Mystery Dungeon. Because I, I just don't understand it, really. I, I think it's much more harder than any other Mystery Dungeon game. Yeah, Carpet, we, we have played both Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XT. And I... I think I, I'm more or less 100% Pokemon Coliseum on camera. So if you want to go watch that, enjoy. Because for Coliseum, there was over 70 episodes of it. And Older Bro, I believe, also 100% XD. And it was over 40 episodes. So if you want to go watch that, please, please do. Funny enough, I think I have played a Lilith's Pet Shop game, and it was decent, but I can't, I can't really remember it too much, but I know I have played one, and it was on DS, and I did enjoy it. Yes, I have a Talon Flame that has the ability Flame Body. If you have the, if you have a Pokemon that has the ability Flame Body or Steam Engine, then your eggs will have faster. Um, was it the Ninja Zuzu Pets game? Um, that is a really good Zuzu Pet video game. I enjoyed that one as a kid. Like, guys, I, I don't say very often, but I enjoy animals. I love animals. I wanted to be a field biologist originally, but I didn't have the time or the money to do it. Could I do it now? Maybe. But... It would require me to go to school for four years and my field wouldn't be just in one town or one area. It would be all over the world, so I would have to fly on planes and such. And that's why I didn't go for it, because I'm very afraid of heights. Colossal is the Pokemon that has steam engines. It doesn't have flame body, but it has an ability that acts like fl flame body. So, it has steam engine. But, I'm using my talon flame because it's a shiny talon flame that has flame body. I was like, okay, we'll use Talon Flame. And I've used Talon Flame since X and Y <laughs> for egg hunting. But the the best egg hunting I've ever had is in this game. Because in previous games I never got a shiny ever, and I had Masuda method. So, yeah, the, right now in this game, everything you've seen so far is the best egg hunting I've ever had. But again, the one problem I have with egg hunting is it's very, very, very boring. That's why I wild hunt as an alternative in this game. 
Because I prefer wild hunting over egg hunting. <coughs> Damn it, I choked on my water. <coughs> Gotta keep having that happen. <coughs> what the hell? <coughs> God, all all of our stomach must really be tore up. I think the other issue is I think he's also watching videos while he's going to the bathroom. So he can be in there for long periods of time. But don't tell anybody I said that. Especially hold pro. <clears throat> but he did say his stomach hurts, so I'll take him at his word. Yeah, going back to speaking of Mystery Dungeon and maybe Pokemon Ranger. We haven't played either for the channel yet. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. The, the thing about it is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a stream game. And I think Pokemon Ranger is too. And I'm still on my stream import list. That's why I haven't played them yet. Otherwise, we probably would have. The other issue is, um, my stream, okay, it is the same issue. Again, my stream import includes a lot of Pokemon games, because I played old, older Pokemon games on my channel, and I have to move them over. So, we're trying to space out Pokemon games as best we can. But, we now have said that if we're playing a side Pokemon game, and a main Pokemon game comes up. Um, we have to be playing the side Pokemon game first. Um, in order to continue playing that side Pokemon game. Along with uh, the main Pokemon game. So say we were already playing. I don't know. Super Mystery Dungeon. And then the next Pokemon games come out. The next main Pokemon games. Then we would continue playing Mystery Dungeon. As well as the main Pokemon games, and that's the only time we'd have two Pokemon games going at the same time. <clears throat> so, right now, if the next Pokemon games come out, it would be my turn to interrupt. So, if I'm playing a side Pokemon game, whether it be a Let's Play or a stream... And, I, and I'm already playing it. I'm fine to play that main Pokemon game. Unless I... Unless it's a stream game. So if it's a stream game, I'd have to interrupt uh, the game. But if it's a Let's Play, I should be fine to play both Pokemon games at the same time. Yeah, we, we like to space out our games, but it's be, it's becoming a, a hassle with Pokemon games and a little bit of Dragon Ball. I know older bro really wants to play Legacy of Goku, but he's had to delay it for a long time. I think he, he's delayed it for about a year now.
And, and guys, yes, it is due to my import. Because <laughs> I have at least four other Dragon Ball games I have to import from my old channel. So I don't think he's playing Legacy of Goku anytime soon. Like, right now, I want to play Kakarot for the channel, but because we're streaming Fusions, uh, I can't. God damn it, I hit... Wait, I didn't hit... Oh, I hit Town Map. I thought I hit Pokemon Camp. Okay. Like, accidentally hitting the map button is much better than... Going into Pokemon camp. Uh, because of the time it takes. Oh, I think I hear older bro coming back. You good? Stomach must have really been hurting, man. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Again, McDonald's says <laughs> this to you. Yeah, we, we were talking about some of the older games, and I was talking about um, how we handle uh, side Pokemon games and main Pokemon games. Yeah. Where if we're playing a side Pokemon game, um, and a main Pokemon game comes out, if it's in the Let's Play, we'll continue playing that side Pokemon game along with the main game. <clears throat> Yeah, which r reminds me. So, uh, when are we playing any Mystery Dungeon Pokemon Ranger game? <laughs> uh, look, man, I don't know. Calm down. Um, well, the, the main thing is that, um, did you get, you got those on Wii U, right? Okay. Um, Wii U, uh, for Ranger? Yes. Yeah. I did yeah, get yeah, those. Yeah. I, I got those way ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we'll probably be playing them on Wii U, and we'll play them whenever we can. Uh, we might, again, we might not play them on Wii U, but, like, I really would rather because they have touchscreen requirements, and so I really don't want to not play them on a touchscreen device. I understand that, but I think the issue we're going to have is we're not going to be able to record one of those screens. No, the Wii U, uh, you can record both screens on the Wii U. But could we easily do it? I don't know. <laughs> that's from my, the, that's from my understanding, too. yes. I don't like, know. To me, the only way to do that is to have a capture card going into the Wii U All and I then know, have a capture card going into I think the it, I think the TV device. displays both screens. The, like, okay. All I know is that I just watched somebody play Phantom Hourglass. They were playing it on Wii U and recorded both screens, and I don't believe they had anything more than a normal capture and capture card. Um, we have yet to record. Have we yet to record anything for the Wii U? No, I don't think we've done any virtual console for Wii U. We've done Wii U games, but not. I don't think we've done anything virtual console. Like I, th oh, we have played a Wii U game. Like we've played. Yeah, we, we've Twilight, played Twilight Princess. Princess, but we've not played any. Any like 3D or any DS games or older that was being virtual console onto. It. Yeah, the only reason we didn't mind the Wii U being captured on one screen is because it was just a nicer way to sort your inventory or or something like that. It, yeah, yeah. Like you could equip items faster. Yeah. Something like that. So it wasn't like anything that important. Yeah. But when it comes to Pokemon Ranger, there's stuff you do on the bottom screen. So it Right, but again, does... what I'm telling you is I believe it displays both screens on the TV. Or when you capture it, it picks up both screens. Like, it's not going to be we just record one screen. So it's like, you're viewing it as we're only going to pick up what's on the TV. I'm saying that isn't how it records when it does Virtual Console. Then... Like, from what I understand, because I I know somebody who's done Wii U Capture, 
and I don't believe they have a modified Wii U or any kind of special capture device. They just plugged it into a normal capture card. It records both screens. No. To me, that says they have two capture cards. Yeah. One's going into but the there is no. But, but Sorry, there, one's going into the console and the other one going into the yeah. And my understanding the is they do not. Yeah, we... Because you got to remember, the console displays both screens. Yeah, we, we'd have to know how to set it up. Yeah, so... Like, I, I'm just saying, the pad, I believe, would have to probably be plugged in some form of way. I don't think we could do it wireless. Y you do understand, the pad doesn't contain data, right? Yes, but... Okay, there are some games where you can't, like switch the screens. Yes, or, what I'm but, telling you is that, what I'm trying to explain to you is that the Wii U, that one, the har the console mm -hmm. bit, has both screens on it. How do you think this screen gets any data? It gets it from there. Like, from my understanding, how Ranger plays is it has the top screen on the TV and the bottom screen on that right. and sometimes and you can flip that. Right, and what but what I'm telling you is that I don't think that's how that works for Virtual Console games. That's only for Wii U games. Virtual Console are not Wii U games. They're Virtual Console. But it I'm saying that's how both Ranger screens works. On both, yeah, I'm saying I believe it displays both screens on both devices. Yeah, I don't know. We, we'd, have, like, we'd have to look into it. You're getting worried. We haven't even checked how it works yet. Just it's whatever. Because I would think, out of my experience, the only way to get both screens is to get two capture cards. Which we have. We can do it. Well, no. Uh, but we no... also have to get a special plug. We would have to get whatever the charger is and then adapt it into HDMI. Like, we'd have to get a converter. And to me, that sounds like a 3DS issue. But who knows, maybe the, the Wii U console is better about it than the 3DS. The only thing I know is... On the Wii U, you can flip both screens. That That is possible. You can do that, but... I don't know how you would display both of them on the same TV. I, I, I just don't just, know just, how to do just, it. Uh, please stop talking about this, because we don't know. You're just... At this point, we are just guessing, and you're just getting worried about stuff we don't know yet. Like, let's, let's just talk about something else, please. Because I don't have an answer. You don't have an answer. It's... Uh, I'm just speculating. Yeah, That's know. all I'm That's, doing. I'm just... if we're gonna have to redefine our Pokemon rule like we might just have to deal with playing side games along with main series games but I'm not sure if we're at that point yet uh, by the way guys we hit um, 100 encounters just now Hundred eggs. Hundred acre woods. Oh wait, hold on. Shoot. Um. Uh, okay, got it. 
I, yeah, I, I was like, I wait was a, a little worried there. Yeah, when... I know. I was like, wait a minute. I wanted to check something. Yeah, because if you did that, yeah, and I know. It it's flipped like, oh, over shit. on stream. Yeah. Yeah, guys, Alder Bros checking his Wii U right now. Yeah. There's probably, a, there's probably a way for me to disable it. I think as long as the switch is in, it it prioritizes channel one. I I think when you're actively playing on the console, it doesn't switch. Yeah. So that's Find out, good. To launch something. You, there's negative. There's almost no chance, guys. You should be able to hear anything that I'm doing. So if you do somehow hear what I'm doing, uh, apologies. It's uh, quick, it's going to be a quick test. Um, is Wii U AV cord or is it HDMI? I don't think the Wii... I think the Wii U's on. I think I might have depowered it. Because it's just saying could not connect. You can turn the pad on, but the Wii U is not on. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I think it's not actually on. So, it won't work anyways. So I can't test that. Yeah, we're gonna Fine, to... I'll just go back to what I was doing then. Test it off camera. Well, I don't even think I have the game for it anyways. Well, where are you going to test? Um, well, I was going to see what, uh, what games I had to test. Oh, well, you have Metroid. Well, that's the one I was going to initially test, but I was like, I don't think that one's a... That game isn't two-screen. No, it doesn't. So it wouldn't you have to. You have to do a two-screen game. Exactly. So, but do you, don't you have Drill Dozer? I don't think I have it on there. But if I do, I don't think it's on. Like it wasn't. I don't think it was available at the time. I don't think it's necessarily two-screen either. Was it? Uh, no, it was Game Boy Advance. So that wouldn't work either. I don't know if I have any DS games on there. I'd have to check. <sighs> if I do, I think they're on. If I were you, if you don't page. get. Pokemon Ranger, it's not that much money. Uh, yes. I don't remember what I got. I know I got several games, but I can't remember what they were. But yeah, keep in mind, if you want to get any more games right now, um, the only way to do it is to log into your Nintendo account on PC and putting the money in on your account that way. Like, you can't do it on console anymore and again they did the stupid thing and did it earlier than usual mm -hmm. like they weren't supposed to do it until this month sorry not this month uh next month they weren't supposed to take down that ability until next month and then they did it earlier which pissed me off But, hey guys, I, I got everything, okay, I got more or less everything that I needed. The only thing I did not get were all of the themes on the 3DS. Like, I, I got the ones I wanted most, now, I, now I'm trying to get all of them. But, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to due to my stupid situation I'm in right now. Sorry, I keep ringing the bell, guys. I'm not meaning to. I was playing Dragon Ball Kakarot. Um, and the way to move faster is to click on the uh, L3 button, which is your left analog stick. Uh, so I'm trying to boost my bike, but that's the B button and not the, uh, not the L3 button. Try to lock that in my head. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so we got three eggs. Two more. I, I'm I'm trying to count the number of eggs 
that we have, guys. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking and I'm forgetting while I'm talking. I'm in a video and I'm talking. I'm in a video and I'm talking. About 30 minutes. Okay. Unless you want to call it early, that's up to you. Because it is 10:30, so technically our our early cutoff time is right now. So. You said I had another 30 minutes. So, yeah, it's either you, it's 10:30 now, so we'll end at 11. Stop at 10:30, guys, because I want to go to bed early, and I still have some things I have to do before I go to bed. So I mean, we already got the shiny, so it's not yeah, and like we got the shiny, even. so yeah. Well, if that's the case, it is 10:30 now. So all right, guys, we'll hatch the rest of these eggs, and then I think we'll call it for today. Um, yeah, if I had gotten better sleep last night, then I would have continued, but I I didn't, so. I will try to sleep better on Fridays if I can manage. I'm sorry, it's just, I've had, I've had a lot of stuff I had to do, guys. Uh... Like, I still have to edit a video coming out. I still have to sort all my Pokemon cards. And I've barely gotten started on that. And I have to record the next three mobile series. And I'm I'm not even a, a third of the way done with that. Like, I barely got started on it, so. Uh, and then we're going to have uh, the year five update coming up. That is true, we do have to do that. At some point soon. Like, we already have the Google Docs made, but we're not going to share it to everyone until um, yep. the Channel 5 update video. Yeah. Plus, that means I've got to go through a lot of crap, don't I? Mm. Yeah, I definitely have more time now to focus on our Year 5 update. <laughs> Like, guys, I, I know I sound happy about it, but... Oh, man. Of course, I hatched five eggs and didn't realize. But anyway, I I'm still very sad that I got let go from my job. Again, guys, didn't do anything bad. I literally got let go because I was in a near-death situation. But that's it. That's all that happened. He was... Well, he was... Yeah, in a near-death situation that was not caused by him. Uh, Alright, guys. So, we're going to call it, well... A little bit early. It's technically early, but it's, not, also, it's a, also our cutoff time. It's technically time. our, like, early cutoff time. It's like, so, if we need we to... Either, we either go for three hours or 10.30. Yeah. So, alright guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. So, like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch. Comment to your videos, we do read them. Follow on Twitch. The counter has stopped. We're at 110 counters for Shiny Sobble. We found Shiny Gossifleur, and we'll see you guys in the next Shiny Hunt. Goodbye. Good night, everyone.